Hey, my name's Tyler Adsit. Welcome to the basement. This is the shop that my dad has, and this is where our CNC is housed. I was talking to a fellow CNC, CNCer the other day about a special project that was going to have to have a holding device that wasn't our normal clamps. Our normal clamps are just pieces of hardwood that are used on a T-track system to clamp onto the table, and your workpiece goes here. This works really good for big projects and big signs where you have some spare room on the corners that you can attach the clamps to, but what do you do if you're working with a small piece or with a piece that you don't have any room to get the clamp on? Well, funny you should ask. I've got a project set up where I have to have exactly that. All right, so here's what we've got. I went ahead and clamped down a piece because I'm gonna be through cutting this really thin piece. It's only six millimeters thick. I went ahead and put a piece of waste stock up under and clamped that how I typically would. If you look here, you can see the T-track and the T-track bolt that goes through the clamp and clamps it on either side. So the situation is, is typically people really don't have a good way to hold this down. They'll try using foam tape or uh, you know trying to hold it down with just the tiniest little bit of clamp from the normal clamps. But this is definitely the way to do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use some blue painter's tape. On both sides of the workpiece. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some super glue. All right, so this is the super glue. Some of y'all that follow me on Facebook know that this stuff I've posted about before. This is the stuff that you need if you're trying to be super dad and fix any of your kids' uh, toys that break. I can't tell you how many times I've fixed one of Brody's toys with, uh, with this stuff, sometimes multiple times. What's really cool about it is it has this activator that is separate from the glue. So what we're going to do for this time is we're going to go ahead and put some super glue on here on the workpiece. Don't be scared to use some of it. It's not that expensive. And then we put the activator on here on this piece of tape that's on the table. And then boom, just like that. We're going to hold it down while it dries, but that activator does it almost instantly. And there we go. That's how we're going to hold down the workpiece for this job. All right, so I have no idea how uh, well this is going to work. This is uh, pretty sketchy how I've got the camera set up, but I sure hope this turns out good. Let's go ahead and run this job. <laughs> So here's the after and as you can see we uh, maximized the use of this piece of wood and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get just a little bit of pressure and start pulling up and see look at there see how easy that was we might need a screwdriver for the other side now we're just gonna pry this up and there we go right there all right so we uh, go ahead and pull this tape up here. Hopefully not gonna mess up 
working on a video, bud. Hopefully, not messing up the cut in the process. Sometimes you got to get a little screwdriver action under it, too. All right. There we go. A little bit of sanding. And there we go. This is going to be a cake topper at a friend's wedding that uh, is really something else about their their lab that they've got. All right, well, that's about all I had for today's video. Once again, here's the, the finished cut. And this one's gonna be pretty cool because here's something else, you know, so we have a machine that can do things very small and detailed like this, there we go. And then we can also take those same files and make them into humongous cuts, which this one is gonna be sitting out by the road at their wedding. So they're super excited to be able to have some similarity in their event. And this will be the sign that leads them, leads the visitors down the road to get to the barn where they're getting married. So thanks for watching today, taking your time out of your evening to watch this video. Please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future projects, put them in the comments. Thanks. Have a great evening.